What's up everybody? It's Ryan here from the underground here with episode number two of the UG's video podcast, a new way we're trying out to communicate with you with everything underground. Today we've got a great podcast for you. We're talking about the Family Force 5 Christmas pageant that was this past week. We're talking about uh, upcoming stuff in 2011. We're talking about some of our favorite websites here at the UG and we're also going to be getting you ready for next week's podcast, the holiday edition. So stay tuned. You don't want to miss it. All right, Family Force 5, this past weekend, Christmas pageant blew our minds. Every single year, this show is probably one of the best that we have. No disrespect to all the other artists. They're amazing too, but this one, the whole room is literally bouncing. There's snow falling from the ceilings, gifts being thrown out to the audience, and Family Force 5, of course, brings their uh, complete craziness to our stage. We have a sold out show here. Check out some of these pictures and some of this video of what happened. It was awesome. You can see over here, uh, we did a time lapse of what's going on. We also have some pictures. We did a pre-show pinata uh, out front with uh, Chapstick. And he went out there, broke the pinata for us. We had a bunch of other people come out. Meaning, granted, it was 20 degrees outside, so we had to do something for you crazy Family Force fans to get warm and to have a great time in the line. Uh, it was an awesome show. Don't miss it next year. Uh, it's going to be another special show. And rumor has it, Family Force 5's new album is coming out soon. Hey everyone, I'm Joe and you are you and that is good news for both of us. Wanted to give you an update on this year's Battle of the Bands. Congratulations to The Waking Point and Achilles Descent who advanced from this past Saturday's semifinals. This Saturday we have our second and final night of the semifinals where five bands will again be competing um, for the last two spots in the finals which will be on January 22nd here at the Underground. So make sure you come and check it out this Saturday and uh, support the local music. We have got Aristo, which 80% of their music sounds better than 90% of what you've heard in your life. We also have 5-1 Dream. If I had a best friend, I would want him to sound like their music. We also have Plastic Inevitables, which they're the musical equivalent of Chuck Norris. We also have Datum Point. Their music tastes better than chocolate cake and looks better than John Stamos. We also have Offsuit which the favorite thing about their music is how good it sounds. So make sure you come check it out this Saturday, December 11th, and support these bands as they compete for a chance for over $10,000 in cash and prizes. All right, welcome back. Our last segment here, we're talking about our top websites we love to visit. Uh, Joe, give me a website you think I should go visit. All right, I think Ryan already checks this site out, but Hulu.com is a great place to watch TV shows after they've already aired, so you can go out there and watch them with limited commercial breaks. I think especially when people trying to save money these days, Hulu is a great alternative to the cable man, who we all know charges just a little too much. So Hulu, great place, free for the most part. Even if you do the pay service, it's like $7.99 a month. You can't afford that. Um, all right, I love, if I'm going for video stuff, I go to Vimeo, V-I-M-E-O, Vimeo.com. It's a great place. It's like uh, it's like the classy version of YouTube, the place you can go and get video of all sorts. Great stuff there. What's another selection for you? Uh, another one I like a lot is Pandora.com. Um, I loved Lala.com, but unfortunately that is not around anymore. So Pandora is a great place to, for instance, if you liked Bon Jovi, perhaps, like 80% of the world does, you can go out there and listen to similar artists to Bon Jovi. It's a great way to find new music. It's free. Um, it's got limited commercial breaks as well, and uh, you can just leave it streaming. Uh, the cool thing is you can find all genres, too. You can almost mm -hmm. enter any artist in, and it will find something kind of match up. Another place I love to go for music is RDIO, R-D-I-O.com. RDIO is a great place for you to go check out new music. It does cost a little bit per month, but you can also sync it with your phone if you want to take it on the road with you. So you literally can take music without buying it. You kind of lease it from them. Uh, some great new releases every Tuesday there. I uh, have a huge collection. Love that site. You know, another place I love, Joe, is YouVersion. Uh, I've always tried to find a place where I can go online and get the Bible because sometimes I just either forget my Bible or YouVersion even comes on my phone so that anywhere I am, if i got a couple moments, I can open it up. They have tons of reading plans, tons of versions, all that. YouVersion.com, an amazing online Bible. 
Okay. Any last picks? Uh, yeah, I love a site called games at ozobrain.com. Um, I love Settlers of Catan, uh, which is a great game. But this is the online version. You can go out there and play for free. Just create an ID and a password. And uh, my screen name is Racing Cougar. So if you're looking to play, um, I'm on there sometimes. So I like playing there. Um, and then also despair.com, which is like those motivational signs that you see in offices. But this is kind of... Um, a humorous side of that where it's not meant to bring you down but it's got some funny uh, thoughts on those motivational signs. So those are just a couple of our picks here for websites you might want to visit this week. Next week we have our holiday version where we'll have Joe dressed up as a giant Santa handing gifts through the screen just to you the viewers of the UG Video Podcast. You up for that Joe? I will do my best. We're out of here. See ya.